You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. A telephone call was held between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. During the call, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister extended his condolences to the Kuwaiti Crown Prince over the passing of Sheikh Mansour Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Mubarak Al Sabah. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere condolences, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the deceased soul in eternal peace and give His Highness the, and the Al Sabah family solace and fortitude. The Kuwaiti Crown Prince expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for his condolences, wishing him continued health. The Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ali al-Khalifa has affirmed Bahrain's full-fledged support for Saudi Arabia's decision to limit this year's Hajj pilgrimage to nationals and residents living in the kingdom due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. He asserted that the decision issued by the Saudi Ministry of Hajj and Umrah aims primarily to preserve the Hajj ritual as well as meet the requirements of the legitimate necessity that preserves the human soul. The minister added that it is also in line with the international requirements and standards to combat COVID-19. The minister reiterated Bahrain's constant support for sisterly Saudi Arabia's decisions and measures to ensure the safety and health of pilgrims. Sheikh Khalid bin Ali extended thanks and appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and to the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Defense Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, for the important decision aimed at protecting pilgrims' safety and security. The minister commended the efforts exerted by the Saudi government to serve pilgrims and put in place all appropriate conditions for them to perform Hajj rituals safely and easily. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs had expressed the pride of the Kingdom of Bahrain's leadership and people and its sincere congratulations to the United Arab Emirates for its election as a non-permanent member of the UN Security Council for the period 2022-2023, congratulating its leadership and people on this historic diplomatic achievement that reflects the tireless endeavors of the United Arab Emirates to strengthen efforts to bring peace and security to the world. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has affirmed the Kingdom's support for the United Arab Emirates and its work as a member of the UN Security Council, praising the prominent role it plays in promoting international national stability, security and peace, and its permanent contributions to supporting humanitarian development programs in many countries of the world. The head of Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, participated in the session of the 8th International Conference for the region, which was launched under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Dr. Mirza stressed the unwavering support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the authority contributes in achieving sustainability for the development process in the kingdom. He added that investing in renewable energy and energy efficiency, in addition to increasing their contribution to the economy, has become more essential under the current circumstances. In this regard, Dr. Mirza expressed his pride in what the Kingdom of Bahrain was able to achieve in a short period of time of increasing the share of renewable resources in the total energy mix by 5% by 2025 to rise to 10% by 2035. The Health Minister Faiqa bin Saeed al-Saleh participated in the virtual high-level meeting on HIV-AIDS, which convened from the 8th to the 10th of June 2021 in accordance with the General Assembly Resolution 75260. Countries' leaders, prime ministers, ministers and prominent world personalities took part in the high-level meeting. Addressing the meeting, the minister stressed the need to continue the ongoing international efforts to curb the spread of AIDS and achieve the UN's goals in this regard. She hailed convening the high-level meeting held marking 40 years since the first AIDS case was detected and 25 years since the establishment of joint United Nations programs on HIV AIDS. Asala expressed the Kingdom's appreciation of its valuable efforts being exerted by the UN Secretary General and agencies to combat the AIDS epidemic. She highlighted Bahrain's unwavering commitment to supporting the national preventative programs and providing health care to AIDS patients despite the current circumstances created by the novel coronavirus. She underlined the importance of the 2016 political declaration aimed at ending the AIDS epidemic by 2030. The high-level meeting on HIV-AIDS reviewed the progress made and the commitments made in the 2016 political declaration towards ending the AIDS epidemic by 2030 and how the response and its social, economic and political dimensions continues to contribute to progress on the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the Global Health Goal. The Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning has announced that it has accomplished about 7.5 million working hours without accidents or work injuries in a number of strategic and sector projects. The Ministry affirmed that it pays great attention to health and safety requirements and the implementation of infrastructure projects in various regions of the Kingdom through the measures followed in road projects. Before the implementation of any project, the Ministry requests from contractors to submit a plan for vocational and environmental health and safety at the work site, which includes measures that protect workers and property on the site, 
from accidents and injuries. The department, concerned with safety at the ministry, carries out a number of regular inspection visits to various work sites to ensure the application of safety measures and compliance with all vocational health requirements. The Public Health Department at the Ministry of Health continued its intensified inspection visits to follow up on the facility's compliance to the implementation of recent stipulated precautionary measures to address the coronavirus. Inspectors of the Food Control Department conducted an inspection visit that included 193 restaurants and cafes during which necessary measures were taken against 57 of them and their violations were referred to legal authorities. The Ministry affirmed intensifying awareness campaigns of the precautionary measures as instructed by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus and the concerned authorities to ensure their implementation. During the inspection visits, some stores were notified about their deficiencies in implementing some measures and they were immediately corrected by the owners of those stores. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,020,656 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 855,898 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. Now, on the lowest daily toll since the 27th of April, the Kingdom of Bahrain records less than 1,000 new coronavirus cases. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 15,196, with 1,989 recoveries and 967 registered new cases. 435 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 525 were contacts of active cases, and seven were travel-related. The Ministry of Health announced eight deaths due to COVID-19 and expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges every everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.